pillow that holds your emotes. Uh, we lose these suckers all the time. We don't know where the hell they go. <laughs> then the deep recesses of the cushion of the brand new sofa that swallows up everything. They disappear, like they vanish. We're always going at each other in the house saying, do you know where the remote is? Are you sitting on it? Do you know? Where is it? You're sitting on it. And my husband is home. He controls the remote. So, and one of the most frustrating things for him is not knowing where it is. <laughs> so all of us scatter like roaches in the family looking for the remote control because he says he knows not where to look. I don't even know where to start, he says. And then I go, because it doesn't say you who, huh? You can't flip a pillow up. You can't dig in the... So I decided to make a pillow remote holder. Yes, I decided to do this. I'm sure I'm not the only people in this world that, you know, you left it right there. And, you know, it's... It, 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 it's so I was sitting around thinking of what I could do that would entertain you people and also do something that makes me happy, saves me time, and helps my family not be so insane. So I decided to make a pillow that holds the remote control. Mm -hmm. So here I have a pillow form. Mine's 11 by 11. If yours is 18 by 18, uh, cut your fabric 19 by 19 or 19 and a half by 19 and a half, just depending on your preference. So here I have myself some really furry material and it's a mess. I'm going to use my serger and I cut my material 12 by 12. So I cut myself a pocket and I cut myself two pieces. Of course, with the pillow form, you need two pieces. And for my pocket, it's 12 by uh, 6. Okay, once you have your pieces cut, I'm gonna go ahead and serger this fabric. If you don't have a serger, I recommend you do a zigzag stitch because this fabric, uh, it's furry and it's messy. Here you see me on my serger. I like it because it straightened everything out and I also controlled the mess. After you do that, you're gonna also serger your pieces of pocket and then you're gonna turn them right side out. You can iron them. And then I'm going to also do a top stitch on that seam. After you do that, you're gonna get your other piece of fabric and start measuring marking lines on your pocket. I measured center and three inches over to fit my remote. I also went back on my sewing machine and sewed those measurements down to the fabric. I also test fit my remotes to see if they fit. You could custom design this to any size remote you want to fit your remote collection, you know. Okay, in this footage, you're gonna see how I place a zipper. I had a seven inch zipper. Of course, my form was 12 inches. You would face your zipper facing towards the fabric. So one end and then face the zipper facing towards the fabric on the opposite end and sew it. Here I'm sharing with you that of course my zipper was not going edge to edge. I placed my zipper in the middle. Now what you're gonna see in a minute is I'm sharing with you that all these areas right here are kind of open, they're not sewn down yet. You get your pin and you pin your zipper forward and then you turn your fabric towards the zipper again and then sew a straight stitch right there. You're gonna do that on both sides. That's gonna close your zipper in and it insets your zipper a little bit also. Here I'm sharing you that that's what I did with my remote control pillow form. I surgered all the way around and then I wanted to use the form and stuff it in my pillow but my zipper was too small. I didn't think that through so I started stuffing everything. Stuffing works because you could fill it in those little corners. Also too, I want you to know that you could put your zipper anywhere you want. I decided to put it on the side. I should have put it on the bottom, but you know what? I didn't mind it on the side. So it's all up to you. Wherever you want the zipper, that's where you could put it, okay? So there's my pillow. I really do thank you for watching, and I really hope you make one. <laughs> Bye.
by the way, everybody says I'm a genius. I think it's pretty good. Not a bad idea, huh? So I really do thank you for watching, and I'll, I'll see you um, later. Bye.